It's a metal detector's dream to find something of value whilst on a search, which is exactly what happened to this couple as they were detecting on a friend's land. Find of a lifetime sort of thing. Ricky called me back onto a bit of high ground there and said we was going to do the high ground and yeah, that was it. As soon as I walked over towards him, I was sort of how far away from you? A few metres away? Yeah, about 50. Got a really good signal. Meters. Dug the hole out, it was still in there, dug another section out and there it was. I, you know, I couldn't believe it, I didn't think it doesn't look real. Straight away I could see there was something about it. It looked to me Saxon, you know, the way, just the way it was made, you know, just by looking at the naked eye and looking at it, it, it was just something about it, it was extraordinary. The historical find looks almost as good as new, despite the fact it could have been there since the Saxons occupied Kent. Yet there is still a lot of mystery behind what the pendant actually is and the history of it. Yeah, I naively thought there. it was a bit of costume jewellery or something at first where it just looks so pristine. It was really looked after and it was precious or it was dropped the day it was made. That's, you know, there's definitely a lot of questions to be answered about it. That's the fascinating thing about it is that no one knows and that's what is going to be exciting when it does go away and get looked at. But one expert believes it could have started out as a coin from as early as the 6th century. It's a coin which has been used in the Saxon era as a pendant, but it starts life as a solidus, a gold coin, imperial gold coin of the Emperor Morris, who was uh, active from 582 to 602, so the end of the 6th, early 7th century. And this has then found its way up to uh, Kent, where people didn't use coins, uh, they didn't have a monetised economy, um, and they've used it rather as a, a pendant. But after the find of a lifetime, will the couple continue detecting? It's going to be quite hard to top, but no, it's just a bit celebrities in the club now as well, aren't no, we, in the no. metal detecting club and things. So no, it's been really nice. If anything, yeah, it's just made us it's, want to be out more doing it. Exactly, and then obviously it's made me want to do more research on the areas that we do, so just to find out a little bit more about it. The pendant will now be sent to the local finder's liaison officer before making its way to the coroner's court where the value will be determined. But for the couple, the find itself is invaluable. Christina Curtis for KMTV.